Two shootouts in 2021 hit me in the leg. Both shootouts, I was busting it back. Long live three, straight up. All right, so look, man. Quick video here. Let me start lying. This is not going to be a quick video. I got a lot to say. Now, it's early in the morning. Y'all know how I do. Around 5, 6 o'clock. I usually head to the gym. But boy, I took an eight hour nap the other day and my sleep schedule been off ever since. And now I'm awake at 3 a.m. looking crazy. But hey man, if I'm awake and can't sleep, I'm at least about to make a video or head to the gym. And y'all can clearly see which one I chose. We making a video. Now if you're listening to this video right now, I'm pretty sure you know the backstory of Boosie, Mo3, Yalabeezy, Yalabeezy homeboy. All of that stuff, right? But for the people that's not familiar with it, I'll give you a brief summary real quick. So Mo3, he opened up for Boosie one night in Dallas, Texas. Boosie came to Dallas, asked who was the hottest rapper. Everybody said Mo3. So he got in contact with Mo3, and the rest was history. Boosie said he saw Mo3 perform that night, and the crowd was reciting Mo3's lyrics word for word like they do for Boosie when Boosie is in Baton Rouge. And he said right then and there he knew Mo3 was the one. So they locked in from there. Don't quote me on the year, but this was back in like 2015, 16. Now further down the line, Boosie did a collaboration with another Dallas rapper, Yellow Beezy. That's on me remix. I think it had two chains up there, Boosie. Uh, Yellow Beezy homeboy. I don't know, it was a bunch of people up there, right? But this was a big deal because Mo3 and Yellow Beezy, well, they hated each other. They was beef. But Boosie, respectfully, didn't let that interfere with him uh, working with both artists. Now, November 11, 2020, Mo3 was murdered. Boosie came out to attend his candlelight service. The very next day on Boosie's birthday, Boosie was shot in the leg out in uh, Oak Cliff, located in Dallas, Texas. The same hood where Yellow Beezy and his homeboy from. Uh, what was it? Uh, right in front of Big T Plaza. Like a little shopping mall out there in Oak Cliff. It was a big deal too. Eyewitnesses saw it. They was calling it in to the 911 dispatchers, saying how Boosie and them, boy, they was chasing these dudes down the freeway with their rifles hanging out the window. Allegedly, right? At least this is what the eyewitnesses said on the 911 dispatch call. But nonetheless, after that, a lot of people started speculating, saying that uh, Mo3 Ops out there in Oak Cliff had something to do with Boosie getting shot because they felt as though he was choosing sides by going to uh, Mo3's candlelight service that night. But that whole situation obviously rubbed Boosie the wrong way. I mean, the dude unwrapped about it in like six different songs ever since it happened. They hit me in my leg, it should have been my head, I swear to God. What's that other one? I really sleep with an AK right by the bed since I done got hit in the leg. This dude rap about it all the time. Dallas, Texas want me dead. People want to make this imaginary theory where uh, Boosie never got shot and he actually shot himself in the leg for clout. Even though three different eyewitnesses called this incident in, Boosie just made this up. Even though Mo3 Ops dissing them all in music videos, because you know they be lying too. They go on these interviews. Man, I ain't beefing with no Boosie. That's just Mo3 fans making up stuff. But you can go to their music video and clearly see them dissing Boosie, right? Oak Cliff with them choppers. Dirty D, baby. And then in the music video, when he rapped that line right there, he gonna show a video of Big T Plaza. Man, you ain't sleep. Them Boosie lyrics from This On Me Baby remix. Oak Cliff with them choppers. Dirty D, baby. You used his lyrics and dissed him. Mocking him for getting shot in Dirty D, baby, in front of Big T Plaza. But now it's just the Mo3 fans making up stuff, y'all. It's us. We did it. No, no, no. Don't get scared now. You will sneak this in Boosie. And you got caught, buddy.
Now, the same way you diss in Mo3, a dead man for the last four years, make a full diss on dissing Boosie. I ain't diss no Boosie. There's Mo3 fans making up stuff. There's Mo3 fans making up stuff. This the hell out that dude and got caught. Ah uh ha. -huh. And I got more proof you be dissing Boosie. Don't make me post it. Matter of fact, don't make me DM it to him. Ah uh ha. -huh. Going diss Mo3. But then when you asked about dissing Boosie, oh, I ain't diss no Boosie. That won't me. That's just Mo3 fans. Man, don't you ever lie on Mo3 fans like that again. But anyway, now we can finally get to the topic of the video. Man, I came across some video on TikTok. I don't know where Boosie at. I don't know what's going on. But it looks like some type of live interview. Boosie's on stage. And the audience, uh, they're asking him questions. And I'm assuming it was a, a, a Texas podcast or something because they was asking him a lot of Texas questions. Who you like better, Sauce Walker or uh, Travis Scott? Stuff like that. And then the one guy from the audience, he said, now I'm from Dallas, so I gotta know this. Choose between these two. Who's better? Yalla Beasy or Yalla Beasy homeboy dude? That Freddy Krueger dude, right? And boy, the crowd got excited as hell for that question. Oh, what's he about to say now? Boosie paused for a minute. He laughed, and he said, Mo3, aha, now get mad. Don't y'all ever think y'all better than Mo3. And for all y'all that be in the comments, man, Boosie don't care about no Mo3. Don't you ever say Boosie don't care about Mo3. The question won't even about no Mo3. But Boosie know what it is. Boy, the crowd went crazy after Boosie answered that. Hey, you want the detail, Yellow Beasy or Trap Boy Freddy? I thought it was pretty dope though and deserved the video. I'm surprised I'm just now seeing this. It says this video is almost a year old. But yeah, shout out to Boosie. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. This is one of the most loyal uh big name rappers that's been a part of Mo3's journey since his death. I mean the dude be sending Mo3 mom money sometimes. He done painted Mo3 in his house. He done made like three songs talking about Mo3. Every time he performed at a show, he always performed his song with Mo3, everybody. And right before he start performing, everybody put you all threes in the air, y'all. Say long live Mo3. You get what I'm saying? Boosie been solid. That Wade in the water thing, that's business. I don't care about that. But his loyalty to Mo3, it definitely showed. And at the end of the day, these dudes can't even be mad at Boosie because they forced him to uh, choose a side, right? He went there showing both sides love. He, he went to uh, visit for Mo3's candlelight service. And then the very next day, he was in Oak Cliff. But y'all shot him and forced him to choose a side. And boy, he chose the hell out of it. How y'all let y'all idol choose a dead man over y'all? Boy, I'll be mad as hell. I think Yellow Beezy even got Boosie tatted on him. All Mo3 Ops look up to Boosie. Even Go Yayo. I remember he was begging for a Boosie feature. That's over with now. Boosie Team Mo3. Boy, Mo3 fans wouldn't even allow Boosie to work with one of Mo3 Ops if he wanted to. We run this fool. What y'all thought this was? You ain't never getting no Boosie feature. Now break yourself. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram. TZFBaby252. Long Lil Mo3. Shout out, Boosie Boo. Mo3, that's his guy. And he don't really care about you. Aha. Uh -huh. But don't get too mad about that. Matter of fact, I ain't done yet. Run that back, Turbo. Long Lil Mo3. That's my guy. Y'all mad as hell. And I think I know why I, 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 I. But don't be too mad about that, big dog. I know you will.
I'm gone. Ain't gonna clip with them chops. Dirty D, baby. Ain't gonna clip with them chops. Dirty D, baby. I really sleep with an AK right by the bed since I done got hit in the leg. When they wanna hit me in the leg, both shootouts, I was busting it back. If you hit me in my leg, but it should have been my head, I swear to God. Long live three, straight up. Hey. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street.